so welcome back to a full stack ink channel for another video how are we doing today i want to come on here real quick before the start of the tutorial two one say hi i miss you guys how you doing as well as to tell you about this project so we're going to be doing some thrifted reconstructions or just some upcycling on some old sweatshirts and hoodies some of these i've had for years some of these are my faithful just I, when I just want to be warm, comfortable, cute, these are the things I throw on. So I wanted to give them in life. You know what I'm saying? We in the house often, I don't want these to become things I wear around the house. And they lose that specialness that they have. Um, Because I want to wear them outside because I love them. I think they're so dope. Even if they just like some basic sweatshirts, I still think they're dope. So, before we get into this tutorial, I just want to encourage you guys to make sure that you're liking um, and commenting, as well as push that notification bell next to the description, next to the subscribe button. Make sure you turn your notifications on so that you know when I upload a video. I have a lot more stuff coming, and for some reason, YouTube is throwing me under the bus and not showing my videos. It's embarrassing. It's upsetting depressing it's irritating and it's unfair to you guys <sighs> i know you guys are missing me because i'm missing you guys so make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a upload all right guys that's it that's all i wanted to say let's get into the tutorial all right stylers these are the three sweatshirts we're going to be working with i have this oversized tommy sports sweatshirt a old college hoodie that i absolutely love and just a simple black man's sweatshirt so starting with the college hoodie, I am simply going to be removing this front pocket. It's torn and stained and it's just not serving me. So I'm just going to simply seam rip this away. This one is super simple. It is a no sew um, project. Because I've gained a little bit of weight since college, I will be going ahead and cropping this, not keeping, not worrying about keeping that bottom band. There is a way to crop this and to keep that bottom band. Because the bottom band is kind of tight and restricted on me, I'm going to be, I just went ahead and measured about eight inches up from the bottom hem. But I just cut the front and then I'm going to um, turn this over, measure up about five inches cut out the back and then I'm going to round off the sides and the back to give me a nice high low curve hem and with this project stylers you are done All right, up until this time, I absolutely love this vintage um, sweatshirt. I've had this for a long time. I think I got it from like a cousin or my uncle. So I'm going to be steam whipping away the sleeves, these bands on the sleeve, because I want to create a nice, cool detail to add some character and some texture to this um, sweatshirt. So I'm just going to be steam whipping away these bands. I'm going to be seen ripping away these bands and I remove the band completely but then I go back and I reattach it um, right at the underarm because what I'm going to be adding to it I don't want to I don't want it to be rubbing up against my sides. So as you can see I went back and reattached the um, back side of the arm and I'm going to be adding some safety pins. I went and picked up just a standard pack of um, medium size large size safety pins. And I'm just going to be simply safety pinning this, um, these sleeves back together to give me that nice, fun, cool pop of skin as well as a nice, cool grunge retro feel to this sweatshirt. All 
and there is no rhyme to reason on where I'm adding these safety pins. I am trying to just make sure they're evenly spaced out and that I have the same amount on the top and the bottom. I repeat the same process on the other sleeve. And another fun detail you can do is even cut off the bottom half. I'm going him, I am going here and I am going to crop this sweatshirt. It's kind of tight around my midsection. Um, you can also, to add a little bit more fun and character, you can crop this and reattach it with some safety pins. So I go ahead and I crop this and I go back after I tried this on and I filmed the final look and I cut slits up the side just to give me a little bit more room and I'm thinking of going in and adding um, safety pins to that. If I decide to do that, there will be a picture here. Again, I repeat the same process I did with the first sweatshirt, cutting off the back and the front at different lengths because I like a little bit more um, room in the back and then just rounding it even off those cuts those hems um, by folding the sweatshirt inside. Moving on to the last sweatshirt, the one I am most excited about, we're going to remove these sleeves. So I love the fit of the sweatshirt. I love everything about it. I just want to add more to it. I've been really, really wanting to achieve this project. After removing the hems, I go in and measure how, where my um, shoulder hits on this sweatshirt because this is a man's sweatshirt and a drop sleeve sweatshirt. The shoulder length is kind of broad, so I'm going to be cutting that away. I'm going to, I'm going to be using this sleeve to um, as a template on how much I need to cut out of some tool. So I picked up this sparkly mesh at um, Walmart, but you can use tool, you can use organza, you can use um, any type of flowy material or contrast material you want to use. I really like this sparkly mash that they had and so I got um, the little packet that is about three yards. So I'm going ahead and I am just unfolding this and folding it so that I can get um, it on the fold to cut. I'm using the sleeve to create the shape that I need but I will be cutting more of the sleeve that I need. I do go back and recut the sleeve and then create um, sew those two sleeves together because I didn't have enough of the um, aluminous look that I wanted. Once you have cut your sleeves, I went ahead and gathered the top half of the sleeve that will become the shoulder part. So I just did um, the biggest stitch on my sewing machine as possible. And here you see me here just pulling at the sleeves and then I went ahead and sewed up my sleeves, the side seams on my sleeves. Careful not to pull away at any of the gathers I've done. I am going to then attach my sleeves to my sweatshirt. And I've showed you guys plenty of times how to attach a sleeve. Making sure that the gathers are evenly um, disputed, just evenly spaced out around the circumference of the sleeve. Then I went ahead and gathered the end, the, the hem, the bottom hem of the sleeve so that I can reattach the cuffs. So with those right sides together, I am going to reattach the cuffs to these gathered tool sleeves. Again, making sure that the gathers are evenly spread out around the cuff and with that you're done here are the three final looks i'm so excited i love them they're so freaking cute comfortable chic casual dress up dress down here for it let me guys know let, guys let me know which one is your favorite and which one would you rock or which one you would try um i love you guys and i will see you in the next one